What's up, soldiers? Moppy Nerd here. YouTube. It's not fun anymore. The YouTube game has changed dramatically since I got into it. I'm talking back when YouTubers actually had inboxes on their accounts and you could have an animated GIF as your icon if you wanted to for whatever reason. I'm old. But that's not the point of this video. YouTube videos. How has the game changed so much from back when I first started to now? I'm from the era of YouTubers where you just turn on your webcam, or your, your, you get your camcorder. I love this thing, by the way. You point, you shoot, you make goofy video, and that's it. Lived here for like uh, three years, maybe longer, I don't remember. But then, and, you know, I don't like to talk about how friendly everybody is around here. And Maybe if you're lucky, someone makes a video response to your video. Really cool. Until that feature was exploited, abused, and then promptly put to rest. YouTube's an old site. I remember a time when it was actually a big deal to have a banner on your page. Back when YouTube Partner was brand new and the concept of making money off of your videos was just super different. It was wild. Everybody wanted, for whatever reason, they wanted commercials on your video. I remember one of my friends being excited because he had an ad on his video because of some early generation content ID where it just ran ads in your videos if you had like copywritten music in it. Yeah, bro, I got an Applebee's ad running on my video. No, I'm not getting any money from it or anything, but kind of a big deal. It's just different. And I realized that my approach to content creation has been stuck in that bubble for years. If you look at my channel, any of my channels, it's painfully obvious that it has all the same habits and trends in the same cycle of a 2008, 2009 YouTuber. And that's what I mean by my problem being that I need to focus my content more. But that's the thing. I hate that word, content. Let's talk about that for a second. We have gotten to the point where like, words like influencer and content creator, they, they just like loom over your head like heavy clouds. It feels like you now have to have this understanding of like marketing. Do all these things that really weren't necessary in the past. You just uploaded a video, put a title on it, added some tags and then boom, you're good. There are still old YouTubers who've had garnished such a following from the golden age and have adapted their content to now, to the point where they don't have to worry about their titles or their thumbnails. I call these the old guards, your moist criticals, if you will. Dude doesn't care about thumbnails. Look at his channel. And I'm not saying this to be negative. I don't think there's anyone disagreeing with me. The YouTube game has changed. It's become more of a machine that you have to keep feeding this algorithm. You have to feed the algorithm. And for some people that can be kind of discouraging. For people who make short films and actual art, to have that stuff boiled down to content is a little insulting. I understand, I finally get it. You see, one of my problems that's really unique and not algorithm friendly is that I, I get into these stints where I wanna make these artistic musical montages. Like here's an example, No Power. That is essentially a short art film music video thing where I had no electricity for what felt like two or three days and I had to go out and do something. So I got with my friend and we rode bicycles and I recorded it using a gimbal in my camera. I edited that video with the mindset of it being an experience so that you could feel something like I felt, you know, like I want to go out and do something. I want to go out and touch grass. I'm just going to call it no power was go out and touch grass. The musical. That's what it was. Cause I didn't have my, my computer or my consoles to keep me company. I had to go out and just do something. And there are other videos like it that just, stand in stark contrast to the gaming content that I was uploading. It's easy to look at what other people are doing better and think, well, why should I even try if I can't compete with that? And I hate that that is the mindset that stops so many people from making videos. Don't let that stop you. To all my friends and subscribers who are aspiring content creators or who are actively creating content, don't ever feel discouraged. Keep doing what you're doing. If something's not working, tweak it and try again. Because here's the here's a little secret. You can try as many times as you like. You have an infinite number of tries, as many times as you can hit upload. So when you find that thing that works for you, when you find your flow, it's gonna pay off. My YouTube page, my channel feels like a scrapbook of my interests and my journey Just as a person. I, I'm not even joking, it's so wild. I Sometimes I go back and watch videos from like 2010, 2009. I even found an old one that I'm not telling you where, because <laughs> it's cringe, from 2008. Now, if you were to ask me what the highest point uh, for me on this channel was, 
it was when I got accepted into YouTube Partner because that was like always a dream, a goal back when, again, when it was crazy just to have a banner on your page before you couldn't have one of those until you were a YouTube Partner. I'd always get really close to like 1,000 subscribers. I'd always on my older channels come like right there and then just tank. But Mobby Nerd was the one that just punched through and wouldn't stop growing. Somehow Mobby Nerd became like my de facto identity when Mobby Nerd was never meant to be my main one. Finding a niche that accepted me and embracing that and making content for that is where I excelled the most. And then branching out and just doing goofy stuff, that's Mobby Nerd. That was my highest high. Reaching 1,000 subscribers, I remember refreshing the page and looking at it in disbelief. Huh? My lowest low was getting kicked off of the YouTube Partnership Program. My reaction to it was a sad one because of what it stood for. I really don't think it would make a lick of difference if I got removed from the YouTube Partnership Program today. But I'd lose the Late Night Guild and that would suck. I love you Late Night Guild. And patrons, you guys would still survive because you're kind of exist in your own ecosystem. You guys are equally awesome. But yes, I don't think it would make a huge difference if I lost my partnership. But what it stood for is what really hurt me the most. It was it was the corporate side of YouTube saying, you're not profitable. You ain't pulling those numbers, buddy. You need that watch time. You gotta get that watch time up. Your watch time, whack, weak. Your thumbnails, subpar. And that was probably like the weirdest stretch for those who were around for that part of my life on YouTube. You probably saw some of the most like borderline filthy Frank tier YouTube videos from me. People were even jokingly calling me the next filthy Frank, which high compliment, by the way, high compliment. But that was um, an interesting moment because in that moment, I could have gone two ways. Because if you notice, I'm, I'm a YouTube partner again. I could have just stopped creating videos, gave up and accepted that my content is not suitable to be fed to this big algorithm. I'm not YouTube part, I am not YouTube partner material. Or continue uploading videos anyways. And you know what I did, because you're watching this video now. I uploaded, I live streamed almost every day for hours on end. I grinded my ass off to get back onto the partnership program. And within a few months, I was back. And that was a good feeling. But you know what? In that time, I feel as though I was producing content that I was both really happy with and that everyone who's watching it, who did find it, really enjoyed. I feel like my channel shines the best when I'm allowed to just like be unapologetically goofy, awkward, weird, dress up, do stuff. And you bet I'd like to do more of that. And I'm gonna keep trying to at every opportunity. But that's the thing. My content changes in waves, and as it goes on, as it went on, my format would change and jump around, and I've realized that I haven't found where I wanna be yet. And that's the whole point of this video. YouTube isn't fun anymore, but I still wanna have fun with it. I'm a stubborn person, very stubborn. I'm not one to quit. And trust me, people have told me to quit. People have told me that what I'm doing is just stupid, I've been called lazy, I have been, you name it, it's been said to me. And in spite of that all, I still, for whatever reason, want to turn on my camera and make a video, do a voiceover, play some games, and just upload stuff. So I say once again to my friends who are making videos, keep creating, soldier on. I'm rooting for you. Let's take this journey together and let's find out where my place is in this big content machine that is YouTube. I'm gonna keep making videos because that's just what keeps me going. But anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. Just a little rant about the days of old on YouTube and how it's just become a whole different animal now. I'm Mobby Nerd, and if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, why are you still here? I'm joking. Thank you for watching this far anyways. I really appreciate you for even giving me the time of day to see if my content's right for you. Only subscribe if it is, by the way. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.
Outlaws, I'm gunning. If you see me coming, don't try running. Let me tell you something. I'm bringing law to this land. Fill your eyes with that sand. When it bursts, leave you blind. I'm the worst. I'm an alchemist. You don't test me. Got the original gap on my wrist. Hear that click? You won't exist. When I flow like water, hit hard like a cannon. Make you fight a flame burst. Make it hotter. Stand up. It's an honor because I'm bringing you down like a pal. Your life flashed in a bit. That's a critical hit. They stay stacked. That's a theory, not a query. Hear that? Let's roll, I'ma charge right through your bullet rushing